I declare open the 21st Olympic Winter Games. So you guys aren't there yet. Did you watch any of it? Were you thinking it's almost time? Uh, I don't know if I would have probably just caught a bit of it. I don't think I had uh, seen the whole thing. Going to your first Olympics, there's so much going through my mind, but I probably didn't see as much of that just because it was it was so intense. We got there at one practice or two practices maybe, and you're just, you're going. Okay, so this is your first game against the United States, the first one. Langenbrunner standing in front. Shooter across to Rafalski, shoot, score! That's the winner. Yeah. What do you remember after that game? Looking back, it was probably good that we went through that. Mm -hmm. I think it kind of, it brought us together and we just had to kind of find that, uh, find that chemistry and, you know, as you, I think as you see it with each game, we got better and better. Okay, so you beat Germany and then this was the one where I think the whole country realized how good you guys were. And this is the goal. Every, when everyone talks about this, they talk about Rick Nash. Rick Nash the way we were playing as a group, it felt like it all came together in, in that game. And obviously, you know, you do all those things that doesn't always happen that way, but it seemed like, you know, for whatever reason, we just started to click there. And I think as much as, you know, we had the offense, I think we showed, you know, how we played as a group and how well we were defensively too. So then you beat Slovakia and now here you're going and you guys are really going in this gold medal game. Here's a mistake and it's all Things are looking pretty good right now. <laughs> <laughs> you guys had to be feeling really good. Really early. good. We were like on our toes and Johnny scores a big one early just to kind of take that pressure off and get us going. And Miller made some big saves. It could easily have been more than two nothing at this point. So um, yeah, I think we were feeling pretty good about ourselves. Then Parise. You still get an annoyed look on your face. Yeah, it's just like, it's that, that sick feeling I think comes back. Um, All these years later, you still feel Yeah, it. I just, just because, you know, we were playing so well and they really didn't have anything even when they had their goalie pulled. They got in, they, you know, spin one to the net and, you know, he picks up a rebound. And um, that, was, that was a tough feeling, just given how well we had played and the opportunity we had. I think the number one question people ask about that game is what happened in the dressing room between the third period and the overtime? How did you guys reset? How did you calm down? Um, well, when we first came in, it was pretty quiet, obviously. <laughs> I mean, it was pretty fresh. They had just scored. There wasn't a lot of time to kind of let it sink in. And I remember Mike Babcock coming in and he said, you guys have an opportunity of a lifetime here. For him to say it too at that, at that time, I think uh, we all, Really believe that. How many times have you watched this? A lot, yeah. I mean, the clips, I've seen it a lot. I've never watched the actual full game, but uh, I've seen this a number of times. That's a moment you dream of uh, as a kid growing up playing for Team Canada, scoring a big goal like that. Uh, it could have been anyone, and uh, I was fortunate enough to, to put that in. Have you ever yelled louder for a puck? I don't know, I, you know. <laughs> That's the thing, I, like, I don't even remember that part of it until you hear it on the TV. I was open there, I definitely. And it's funny, because Jerome, you know, he was, he was awesome all, uh, all Olympics, you know, I, I struggled a bit. And he always told me, he's like, you're gonna get a big one, don't worry, you're gonna get a big one. So I appreciate that pass, I needed that one. <laughs> this is a moment where everybody remembers where they were. Does it mean anything more special to you that you're the author of that moment. Um, yeah, just that I can share with people. I mean, I love hockey. I love playing for Team Canada. And the fact that, you know, people can look back at that and have such a great memory uh, because of it. You don't get that many cracks at, you know, playing the Olympics in your home country, being a hockey player and playing for Team Canada. So the fact that uh, it worked out this way, um, you know, couldn't have done it any better.